Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 as we uh, roll into our 14th year on the air, and this being the third Saturday of the month, my good friend Frank Barton from the Barton Power Sports in West Memphis is sitting in with me. Good morning again, Frank. Good morning, Larry, and everybody else out there. All right, and I told you earlier in the show that we're going to spend this last segment uh, uh, in paying tribute to to my late good friend Jim Gaston. Uh, Jim and I hooked uh, kind of just, I don't know, we just uh, meshed, as I said, on my website. And I've written a tribute on there that uh, Jim and I go back uh, 30 years or so, and um, from the first handshake, uh, we we meshed, and, and Gaston's has been a real – Supporter of Outdoors of Larry Ray, the first sponsor we ever had on this show was Jim Gaston and Gaston's White River Resort, and uh, we've been on the air 14 years. And so uh, I wanted to do this last 15 minutes, and I can't think of two better people to start out this uh, the little segment. Is uh, first of all is Tracy King. Tracy is the uh, superintendent for Bull Shows uh, State Park. Right, Tracy? I may have the name wrong. It, yeah, it's Bull Shoals White River State Park, but well, that's that's close enough. And Tracy has ties to this to Memphis. T- Tracy, tell us what your ties are here. Absolutely. I, I went to college at, at uh, Memphis State back when it was Memphis State. And, of course, I grew up in a small town called Decaturville. It's about yes. two hours east of there. And, and near Parsons? And, and near things. Parsons, that is correct. Still got family that lives there. So now Tracy uh, knows... Uh, the Gaston family, as well as anybody, you've been at the state park how long, Tracy? Uh, I've been here a little over 26 years at this park. At this park, and you mm-hmm. know that the visitor center is a wonderful facility. Beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful. I, I just cherish it every day that I come to work. And uh, and we've also privileged to have on with us this morning uh, uh, to talk about his granddad, is is Clint Gaston. Good morning, Clint. How are you, Larry? Well, we're doing great. And tell our listeners, Clint, uh, a little bit about the arrangements and when everything will happen and where. Well, right now everything's uh, set for next Tuesday, the 21st, uh, at 11 o'clock. It'll, the, the funeral service will be at Arkansas State University, and we're going to hold it in the, the Veda Shed building. Uh, it's a large enough you know, venue that, that there's plenty of seating for everybody. And, and I know that school was... Uh, Really near and dear to your granddad's heart, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, he, um, you know, he was a big supporter of Arkansas State, and uh, you know, he really had a lot to do with, um, you know, where ASU Mountain Home is right now. And uh, also, Tracy, I know uh, when you have a new visitor center like you guys have got up there, that was a logical name to name it after, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. He put in uh, decades worth of work uh, just trying to get the. Uh, approval to get this uh, visitor center built up here. And, of course, it finally happened in 2006. And I know that that facility, I don't know if anybody's got a visitor center like you got. Yeah, that's, uh, I just I just have my, I count my blessings every day, and, and I definitely give give the uh, the ultimate thanks to, to Jim. And I did that personally, was able to do that many times. Uh, yeah, yeah. Person. Because, I, you know, I don't think he cared if it was named after him. No, no, that didn't matter to him. It didn't, did it, Clint? No, no, no. He wasn't worried about you know his name being on that building by any means. But I think it was uh, you know a great tribute for him just because he had worked so hard on it for so many years, and you know to finally get it accomplished was uh, um, you know quite quite the deal for him. Well, I know this. These are difficult times for the Gaston family, and I know everybody that works over there. Uh, it, it, they're all part of the family. Right. That, that, that's exactly right. You know, everybody Absolutely. here, uh, you know, we, we treat them just like family because they are a part of our family. You know, we, we spend countless hours with them every day, you know, working with them and, uh, you know, just make, making this place operate. And uh, so they're all very dear to our hearts. And I know, Clint, your granddad took you under his wing, his big giant wing. He was... Yeah, that, that's exactly right. He's, uh, you know, he, he's been a great role model, yeah. a leader for me. He's he's taught and showed me so many things that, uh, you know, I, I really can't can't describe them all. I mean, you know, th- there's days that I wake up and I, I remember something else that, you know, he had showed me or told me. And, uh, you know, I, I just, 
I'm so appreciative that I got to spend as you know much time with him as I, I was able to. And I know that uh, he taught you a lot, and it's it's not an easy thing. He touched so many folks over the years. He was a what I think a people person. I don't care if you had five dollars or five million dollars. Uh, your granddad was that kind of guy. Yeah, that's exactly right. He was always courteous, and uh, you know he didn't care who you were. He He'd didn't. always take the time no. to to really talk with you and visit you, and, and you know just uh, listen to you and interact. Well, I know that, um, and he loved dogs. He loved photography. Uh, he loved all those things of life, and I, I think he was really proud of that uh, visitor center, wasn't he, Tracy? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, <clears throat> he came up here just. Uh, as often as he possibly could, most of the time had something in his hand that he had <laughs> yeah. he had uh, purchased offline or whatever that was uh, relevant to to the center. And and mo- the majority of the stuff in this visitor center came from Jim uh, donating it to us. So, uh, including a lot of photographs, which you've seen. Oh yeah, yeah. And one thing I might mention to both of you guys in my many times of of going back in that office, which is like stepping back in the nineteen hundreds. Clint, you know that. Oh yeah. Uh, to see what he had, and and uh, we talked about the video that they that they did for the for the visitor center. If I'm not mistaken, the first one he rejected because they were all from up north or something, and he and he wanted local people in that video. Is that not right, Tracy? Uh, yeah, that, that is correct. <laughs> he, he worked uh, very well with the producers of that film to to get ultimately what he knew that we needed. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't about him. It was just what he knew the center needed and the tourists needed to be able to see. was. Some, he wanted local folks. folks so he wanted local folks talking the that's, way they talk. That's right. <laughs> and, because and, the credi- and, they knew the credibility would come with their stories. Yes. Had lived here for so long or grown up here. Yeah. Uh, Clint, how's it been? I, I'm sure you guys have been flooded with uh, all sorts of things and uh, from, from your land uh, Frank Barton is sitting here with me from the Barton Power Sports, and Frank is landed up there and taking his plane up there. I, I, I'm overwhelmed what I've seen on Facebook, Clint. What about you? I mean, uh, yeah, you, you know, you, you really don't realize how much of an impact he had on everybody's lives he came across until you know something like this happens, and uh, you know, it's a very unfortunate <laughs> event. Um, Yes, but you know, like like my grandfather, he was always a positive man, and that, that's what I'm trying to do is be positive and bring the best out of everything. So, um, you know, er- everything here at the resort, it, it's going to stay just like it always has been. We're we're family owned, family operated, and uh, you know, th- this is really going to make us all stronger, and yeah. uh, we'll be able to to run a better business because of it. Well, I know that uh, when we have our G- Gaston's Media Gathering every year that you stepped forward last year and really I was proud of you, young man, for uh, he, he was able to be there. He was there in spirit, and he'll always be there in spirit. Uh, I, I know just like his dad, Al, w- That's w- right. w- 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 is still there. I mean, you go back and then uh, Ron Wong, is Ron Wong on the line? Ron, yes, hey, hey, Ron, we have, uh, Clint, we have Clint Gaston on the line with us, Tracy King uh, from the state park there. And we got our own Ron Wong, who was touched by your granddad so much. Ron's down at Orlando at the ICAST, and I wanted Ron to come on because, Ron, you, you know, you, you give us your thoughts on Jim. Well, I, I got to tell you something. First of all, uh, to the whole Gaston family, Clint, to you, uh, my deepest, deepest condolences, uh, uh, it breaks my heart also because of the role model that I had to look up to, and I know that you've looked up to, and, and I have to tell you, it'll always be part of me, and I have learned so much from Jim, and I will always look up to him for the things that he stood up for and for the things that he has done for the whole state of Arkansas and the whole Mid-South area. And uh, for all of the Gaston family, if there's anything I can ever do for you all, please let me know. Well, that's 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 Ron's heart, and Ron wanted to be on, even though he's in Orlando. And I know Tracy, uh, you guys uh, are probably going to be doing some special things too uh, at the center in the state park now uh, to maybe some other things. 
that, that man has more souvenirs around. I I can't tell you, uh, Clint. I've got a uh, a friend of mine sent me a thing that he's got a ballpoint pen from your granddad. Oh yeah, that he worked out a deal with because I don't think a lot of people knew that your granddad at one time I don't had the world's largest ballpoint pen collection, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. He uh, he was an avid uh, <laughs> fountain pen collector. And yeah, he used to to ship out fountain pens on a daily basis, and he was a big collector. In fact. When we used to, you know, travel through the country, we would stop at every antique store and, uh, you know, look, look for uh, vintage fountain pens. Yeah, well, that was just one of his sides and everything. Well, uh, hey, folks, uh, I'm going to be writing something for the Commercial Appeal Sunday uh, uh, to, to, to pay tribute to what, Clint, I know this is tough, what, 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 did, what did he mean to you for his, uh, I know as your granddad, you called him what? What was his name? I, you know, I always called him Grandpa Jim. I he, thought you uh, did, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had several names for him, but that that was the one I, I you know, continuously called him. But uh, I mean, you know, more than more than anything, I'm going to miss um, just his support, yes, uh, his wisdom. I mean, he he's done everything for for the state of Arkansas, and you know, just for so many people in general that. Um, I'm just going to miss his support. He was always there for me when I needed it. Yeah. And, um, you know, he really led by example. He did. Yes, and, he did. And, uh, you know, he would, um, he, there was no quit. No quit. Uh, you know, right quit. till the end. Right no, till the end. No, no, not at all. <laughs> no. And, and, in fact, I mean, up until his last days, I mean, he always uh, was very positive and, you know, was telling me that he was going to get better, we were going to get through this. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I admire that. He's, uh, he's the, the strongest man I've ever been around. Yeah. And uh, he'll always be that to me. Well, so many stories. How old are you now, Clint? I'm 26. I thought you were. And Tracy, uh, mm. your relationship to Jim, well, what will you remember most about it? Oh, j- just uh, uh, the the talks that we had uh, on, on a regular basis, either with him up here in my office or me down in his office about and it wasn't all about business. It was that's right. It was personal. We had yeah. lots of discussions he had opinions. about little Clint yeah. there. Yeah, he had opinions, but he didn't mind telling you what he thought. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and he also gave me lots of advice, and, and I tried to return the favor, even though uh, most of the time. But he would ask my opinion on certain things, and I would I would tell him whether I thought he would like it or not. I told I was always honest with him, and he with me. Yeah. And so. Yeah. He he was just a, a, what I would consider a gentle giant. He was, yeah, he a was gentle yeah. giant in in this in this whole industry and personally to to me. Well, I appreciate you guys taking time, Ron. Thank you for calling from Orlando. Uh, thank you, Tracy, uh, You're Clint. Welcome. Clint, anything we can do over here, you know how we support. Uh, I appreciate we, that, and same goes to you, Larry. All right, buddy, take it easy, and we'll be praying for all you over there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank right, you. All thanks. right. All right. All right. That's Clint Gaston. I get goosebumps. And Godfather of Arkansas. He was. That's right. And uh, as we close out, let me tell you quickly about uh, today. Uh, our man, the Gray Beard Adventurer, is supposed to be coming into Mud Island Harbor, paddling down the Mississippi River. I'm not ty- sure what time Dale Sanders will be here, but it'll be sometime today. Uh, we'll try to post that on the website next week. you got to be here next week. i got to get this in real quick. Because we not only have Jessie Dove, the world-renowned shooter, Jessie Dove. She's now part of the Women of Weatherbeat. But we have Kim Rohde on the show, the only American to win an individual medal in five consecutive gold medal uh, Olympic Games and with a Team USA flag bearer for the opening ceremony of the Pan American Games. We're going to have Kim on. We're going to have Brenda Valentine on, the first lady of hunting on next week's show. And we're going to talk to... Scott Martin himself, the FLW Angler of the Year. Some people may know him as Roland Martin's son. But we're going to talk to him all on Outdoors with Larry Ray next week. Got to get out of here. Frank, thank you for being here, buddy. Appreciate thank, you. Thank you, Larry. Stay in touch, and thank you for being a sponsor for Outdoors with Larry Ray. Greg Radliff, thank you, buddy. Good as always. This is Larry Ray reminding you to do each and every week, even though my voice is gone. It doesn't cost an extra cent to be a good sport. And God bless the USA. Find out all about it all. Outdoors with Larry.